Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and we're about to get our next major expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. Now, this is going to be my fourth expansion since 2.0, and pretty much Square Enix has a formula. That means we can do a couple of things to prepare our characters so that when the new expansion drops on day one, we can hop right into the game and enjoy all the new content with no worries. First, complete the main scenario quests. All the new cities, all the new areas, the dungeons, and all of the new content is generally locked behind the new MSQ. Complete any of the quests with the blue markers. These quests are the big unlocks for the current content, so you'll just want to complete most of them as you can. It's not a requirement, but you just want to make sure that you're covering all of your bases so you're not having to re-clear older content while you're playing in the new expansion. Have at least one job, be it max level, with max level gear. It should also be the job that you plan to level during the expansion. For the first few levels, you'll have a faster and easier time progressing through all of the new areas, running the new story dungeons, defeating any quest mobs that spawn, and anything else that's a bit unexpected. Complete your job quests and any other role quests that you have for your main job. You've probably already done this to get your final job abilities anyway, but just make sure that you're all caught up so that when the new job quests come out, you're ready to go. Clear out your inventory, your armory chest, your chocobo bag, and any retainers that might have extra gear or items in them. Most gear and items will be obsolete once the expansion drops, so it's best to get rid of all of the stuff that you don't need. Of course we know that Glamour is the true endgame, so keep anything you want for looks and stuff that was pretty difficult to get. For everything else, sell them on the market board, desynth them, turn them into Grand Company seals, trash them, put special gear in the armoire, dress up your retainers, fill up your Glamour dresser, or donate them to new sprouts. Just make sure that you have plenty of inventory slots available so when the expansion drops, you'll have plenty of space in your bags to get all of the new goodies. About three to four weeks before the expansion drops, you'll want to cap all of your tomes, scripts, seals, and max out any other currencies you want. Even though these currencies will most likely be obsolete, chances are you'll be able to trade those old currencies into the new currencies for new gear and items. Make sure you max out your leave quest allowances. You can have a max of 100 and every 12 hours you get an additional 3. So if you started off with 0, you can get back to 100 in about 17 days. Most likely, if you haven't done any leave quests in a while, you'll probably have a lot of allowances already acquired. There will most likely be new gatherer and crafter leave quests. You can use your leaves to level up your gatherers and crafters rather quickly. Stock up on cheap food for a 3% experience boost and use that food all the time. You can find them in all the major cities, they're cheap, it doesn't take up a lot of inventory space, and you'll get a little bit more EXP while leveling to reach the new level cap faster. If you're in an FC, stock up on the Heat of Battle experience buffs, and run those 24-7s when the new expansion drops as well. Every little bit helps to get your character and your friends to the new max level faster. Square Enix will announce the times for when the big system maintenance is going to happen. On your last logout day before that happens, log out in a non-congested or unpopular area. You'll want to avoid locations like where the new main scenario quest starts or the areas where the new job quest will be. Because everyone's going to be trying to get in once the servers come up, you just want to avoid any areas that might give you login congestion. Maybe it doesn't work like that on the server side or I'm just superstitious, but I'd rather get into the game and enjoy all the new content rather than try to fight through a login screen. And finally, a week or two before the expansion comes out, take a break. Now, this is really up to you and every person is different, but once the expansion drops, we're all going to be playing that thing 24 seven for the next few months. So you just don't wanna burn yourself out before the real grind starts. And those are the things that I'm going to do to prepare for this expansion. If you have any preparation tips, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And of course, subscribe to the channel so more folks like you can prepare for the expansion. So until next time, keep on adventuring.